If you're a woman navigating middle age and you find yourself in a relationship rut that you never thought you'd experience, maybe you're exhausted from getting your heart broken, maybe you're tired of not knowing where to find and connect with quality men, maybe you're confused about how you can put yourself out there without wasting so much time. If this sounds like you today, I want to share five lessons no one's taught you that can alter the course of your love destiny and help you attract the lover, best friend, and life partner that you've been searching for. The fact that you're showing up and watching this video tells me that you have courage because you could have thrown in the towel at any point in your past and the fact that you're still seeking ways to create a conscious connection with a man, the fact you haven't given up hope, tells me a lot about who you are as a human being. This video is for you if you feel like your prospects have dried up. Maybe earlier in your life, in your 20s and 30s, there were tons of guys knocking on your door, but right now, those knocks are few and far between. And when they come around, they're not the knocks you're looking for. Maybe you connect with guys who are showing up wishy-washy, sometimes disrespectful, with a lack of enthusiasm, with a lack of pursuit, and it's making you feel really frustrated. Maybe you have a bag of dreams that you created once in your life, maybe when you were early in your life about what type of love you want and it hasn't pound out for you and you haven't fully realized why and the fact that people around you sometimes have gotten what you want and even though you're smart, even though you're beautiful, even though you have a, something to offer, it's not showing up for you is making you want to pull out your hair. First two things I want to share with you is that most human beings, not just women, men and women in middle age struggle with love. Most human beings are not having the life that they once thought they would create. And the reason for that is simple. We have huge expectations and the skills that we have are not there yet. Meaning no one has taught you how to create a conscious relationship. No one has taught you how to attract a life partner. No one has taught you how to vet men. No one has taught you how to create conscious communication when things are not going well. No one has taught you how to repair interactions when things break and they break constantly. So the fact that you've gotten this far is already something commendable. My hypothesis, my statement is, if you learn more skills, you can get something exponentially higher than you've gotten in the past, but there's some learning to be done. The things I'm about to share with you right now are simple, not necessarily easy to implement, but once you start taking action this way, you can reverse whatever painful trend you've been on for years. The first lesson I want to share with you is that your vibe, your expression, your connection with yourself, your light, your radiance are exponentially more powerful and important than your age. There's far too many women that I see who are spending so much time and energy worrying and being self-conscious about their age and thinking they have to compete with younger women and getting really anxious about something they have very little control over. I'm not saying you don't take care of yourself, but what I'm saying is that you have far more control and influence over your radiance, over your expressiveness than you do about your age. So focus your time and energy on showing up in ways that allow more of who you are to express itself into the outer world. The next one, next lesson is, your relationship will reveal and expand your level of happiness. It will not create it. I connect with lots of women who have, not overtly, but in the back of their mind, this idea that life is kind of sucky and when the guy comes in, things will get so much better. And the truth is, it won't. Your level of happiness right now will be added on to what he shares with you, but it won't create the level of fulfillment, joy, and meaning that you're searching. So the best thing you can do parallel to creating this relationship is continuing working on your life in such a way that you fall in love with your life. The more you fall in love with your life, the easier it will be for A, you to attract someone, and B, for you to expand and pull on those deposits you've made to create an amazing relationship. The more you are holding your breath metaphorically, waiting on, I'm not gonna buy this house until I get someone. I'm not gonna travel to this place until I find like The more you're holding your breath until a guy comes around, the lesser your happiness and the more unlikely that you'll be able to be happy with them. Third lesson is how you invite men to step up makes all the difference. On one end of the spectrum, you have women who are not expressing what they want and what they need. They're kind of going with what they can get. If a guy shows up they feel excited about, 
instead of sharing, here's my boundaries, they are afraid of him going away or scaring him. So they stay quiet and then they feel frustrated, disappointed and unseen. On the other end of the spectrum, there's women who have a very high standard, but a poor delivery. So when something shows up in a way that is not quite what they want, they metaphorically chop off the heads uh, of the guy they're connecting with or stop connecting with the guy or tell him off in a way that is going to prevent him from ever wanting to change his behavior. My recommendation is when you're in that gray area, obviously if the guy shows up super disrespectful, say goodbye and move on. But there's gonna be many situations when a guy shows up and he's not exactly showing up the way you want to, but there's good things in the mix. And my recommendation is that you create the ability to state boundaries with kindness and firmness at the same time. For example, if a guy is showing up and doing something you're not enjoying, instead of telling him that he's wrong or guilting him passive aggressively, expressing to him, thank you and here's what I need. Here's the way I want this. Here's what I prefer. Can you show up this way? Can you please fill in the blank? I appreciate what you're doing and for me, it works better when you do it this way. I prefer it when a guy connects with me between dates. Thank you for the invitation. It's better for me when you ask me with more time in advance because I can actually plan it and make it happen. When you're not making him wrong for the way he's showing up, but giving him a real shot of doing it differently, two things will happen. He will either become better and fulfill your needs, or he will tell you to your face that he can't. Either way is better than suppressing your needs or chopping off a head. Now, before I go into my last lessons, if you've been single for a while, I'd be willing to bet that you don't fully understand the true root cause why you're still single. I've taken 12 years of helping women to create the relationships they want in every, every walk of life you can imagine. And I've put together a quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link on the description of this video. You'll find a page that looks like this answer a few simple questions, and you will have in about 60 seconds two things. The answer to the question, why you're still single, and a report based on your specific blind spots that will share with you what's the number one action you can take starting today to reverse this trend and attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Lesson number four is stop looking for a man without baggage. I had somebody who showed up the other day who was telling me how hard it is for her to find men in their 50s who don't have baggage. And my thing is, okay, well, yeah, I understand. You have baggage and men have baggage. The question is not, will the guy that you connect with have baggage? The answer is absolutely yes. The question is, how self-aware is he about what he brings to the table? And if he's not self-aware, is he willing to and open to change things when you bring them up? Are you looking for a guy who's aware, a guy who's ideally working on himself? If he's not working on himself, when you bring something up, is he willing to change and do things differently and better? And not just for you, for himself as well. If you focus on that, you'll be able to get far further along than if you have an impossible standard. There's the list of 50 things you want in a guy, and there's the list of the most important things you want in that human being. My recommendation is ditch the super long list, create a strong list of qualities and virtues you're looking for in a guy, and redefine what a quality man is to you. I'm gonna link up in the description a video I created recently about this whole thing, but it's important for you right now, if you haven't gotten what you want, to have a clear new definition of what a high quality guy is, so that you're not going for your mom's definition or your definition from 10 years ago or some definition that's not really your own. Own your definition and go for what's most essential. Understand that just like there's things in him that you don't like, there's gonna be things in you that he doesn't like. And if there's enough awesomeness, the equation will be positive. The last one is if you have not found what you want for a long time, there's two important things you need to shift right away. The first thing is the strength of your magnet. The stronger your magnet, your ability to connect, to emote, to express, to be in your heart, to attract, the easier this process will go. Stop focusing, as I said earlier, on your body. Start focusing on your expressiveness. The second thing you need is a stronger strategy. I have hundreds of videos on my YouTube channel about how to develop a stronger strategy, but suffice it to say that you need to have a way for attracting guys, you need to have a way for vetting guys, you need to have a way for dating men, and it's important for you to recognize right now that if you've been telling yourself that this should be the most natural thing in the world and that's why you don't need the skills, that you stop. There's nothing natural about what you want. What you want 
the type of relationship you're going for, something conscious, emotionally, physically, spiritually, sexually, has never happened in human history until the last maybe 20, 30 years. And the fact that it hasn't happened should tell you that there's skills required to get something that's never taken place in history. So if you take the humble approach of saying, it's not me, there's nothing wrong with me, there's no shame in what I've experienced, I need better skills, then you'll get the skills and you'll get what you want. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, it would mean a lot to me and to my channel if you click like and subscribe. And if you find this is helpful and you want to attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, tricks, or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.